Hello, welcome to TypeScript Basics. In this video, we are going to look at destructuring. Let's see what is destructuring. Destructuring is a way to extract one or more values from array or object. Doesn't make sense? Let's say an example. Let's say we have student object with first name, last name and age properties like this. And we want to pick first name and age from a student object and assign them to identifiers called first and age respectively. The way we normally do this is using assignment operator like this. With destructuring, you can achieve the same like this. Okay, let's break this down and see how it works. Const is a keyword which tells compiler that we are not going to change the value of the identifiers after they are created. The pair of curly braces tells the compiler or runtime that we are doing object destructuring. And then we have first name colon first. What this does is it picks the value of the key called first name from student object and assigns it to identifier called first. Age colon age is similar to first name. It picks age from student object and assign it to the identifier called age. Note, the identifiers are constants in this example because we have used const keyword. If we use var or let keyword, then identifiers will be variables. Turns out, we can simplify this. Because the key and the identifier are same for age, we can change it like this. This is object destructuring. There is more you can do with object destructuring. Let's see what we can do with rest operator or spread operator when destructuring from an object. In case you don't know what rest or spread operator is, it is three dots followed by the identifier. There are many use cases for this operator, but let's see a couple of them quickly. When used as a parameter of a function, you can pass more number of arguments than parameters when calling that function. All the arguments that don't match the parameters will be collected by the rest parameter. The type of rest parameter will be array. You can only use rest parameter as last parameter. In this example, we have a function called sum which takes three parameters a, b and others. Here others is a rest parameter. When calling this function, we pass more than three parameters. Uh, the first two, one and two, will be assigned to a and b, and three, four and five will be assigned to uh, the rest parameter called others. As you can see here, one of the other use cases is creating a new array from an existing array with one or more additional items. Let's say we have an array called x with the numbers two, three, four, you want to create another array y with value 1 and then all the values from array x, then 5 at the end. You can do it like this. Okay, so coming back to object destructuring, let's say you have an object with many keys. You want to extract a couple of keys and assign them to two separate identifiers and the remaining keys into another identifier. You can do this with the rest operator like this. With this, A will have value 1, B will have value 2, and others will have an object with keys C to F. With object destructuring, you can extract data from nested objects as well. Let's say you have a student object with a nested name object like this. And if you want to extract first name, you can do so like this. Now the identifier first name will have the value John. If you want to assign first name to different identifier, say preferred name, you can do that like this. Okay, let's now see how we can update the existing identifier while destructuring an object. Let's say the first name in student is updated after you have extracted it and you want to update your preferred name identifier. So first let's change preferred name to variable. Now to assign new first name to preferred name variable, we use the syntax like this. Let's say what we do here. We don't have const or let because we are updating an existing identifier. If you notice, the whole statement is wrapped in pair of parentheses. 
This is needed to update existing identifier. Let's move on to array destructuring. It is very similar to object destructuring. Let's say we have array of numbers and we want to extract 1 and 2 and assign them to identifiers called A and B. Normally you will do it like this. With the destructuring you can do it like this. The values are assigned by matching positions. So A will get value 1 and B will get value 2. Note, we are using square brackets here, not braces. Square bracket tells compiler or runtime that we are doing array destructuring. Let's see what we can do with rest parameter in array destructuring. Let's say we have numbers 1 to 5. And we want to assign number 1, 2 and 3 to identifiers called 1, 2, 3 respectively. And all the other numbers to an identifier called it tail. Then we can do it like this. Note, you can use rest operator only for the last identifier. Next, let's see how we can destructure nested array. Let's say we have an array of arrays like this. You can destructure numbers like this. Finally, let's see a couple of scenarios with combination of array and object. First, let's see how we can destructure array of objects. Let's say we have number array like this with object values. We can destructure the numbers like this. Basically, the structure has to match the structure of array of objects you are destructuring. In this case, we are doing that. Objects with array destructuring is very similar. Let's say we have object with array values like this. We can destructure the numbers like this. Again, the structure has to match the structure of the object you are destructuring. That's it for now. Hope this video is useful. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.